as some people refer to as fortune tellers who try to read the palm as palm readers but they are lying the only man that can read the palm of a man is the one who created it the mark that goes to the left and to the right has all to do with why you came to this world in your hand lies your glorious destiny so how protected the hand of a man is is how protected his destiny is for God to keep you he keeps your hand when you lose the interpretation of your hand you lose the meaning of living please follow me when you lose the interpretation of your palm you lose the purpose and the reason for living every man's success is determined by how much understanding he has into his purpose in his hand until you find the purpose for your hand your life on earth will remain a struggle until you find it your life on earth will remain a struggle your destinies are all printed in your hand so you have people who line up before palm readers before fortune tellers because they want to know what their future is and these people look at your palm and they're able to guess one or two things right by the reason of familiar spirit which is familiar with your environment familiar with your life but the one who created you the mysteries of your life where you are going to where you will be at every particular age of your life he put it here he put it here and today <laughs> that force that power that has been contending with your hand to hinder your future and your glory they shall be arrested by fire they shall be arrested by fire I can't hear your amen they shall be arrested by fire amen somebody that is why in some villages sit down quickly in West Africa when a child is born they bring in certain fortune tellers who are popularly known in the village as happily's they bring them and the family organize the ceremony and the responsibility of that witch or wizard is to reveal to the family the destiny of that child and so many destinies have been trained by that exercise because why their destinies have been interpreted there are agents as relatives of the family who are not excited with what they are hearing that this child is going to be great he will become a big politician he will make so much money through him this village will turn around and somebody in that gathering say over my dead body not when my own son will be a nobody i decree today whoever has interpreted the written printed plan of god in the palm of your hand that is manipulating your destiny by fire by thunder i arrest them i arrest them i arrest them i arrest them I arrest them. 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 In the name of Jesus. Open your hands. Shout 12 times. This is very important. 12 is the number of discipleship, prophetic number of gates. Look at the palms of your hand and shout 12 times. My destiny, My destiny. arise and shine. Number two, over to you. That's right. Number three, look into your palm. God, 
Number five. Number six. Is that the loudest? Seven. Oh my God. That's right. Eight. That's right. Uh -huh. Nine. Very loud. Ten. Eleven. So let it be. So let it be. Show it again. Job 37 verse 7. He sealed up the hand of every man. Ladies and gentlemen, that is why outside your head, the next most important symbol of your destiny is your hand. That is why before you shake certain people, you should be sure who they are. Because the stars and the destiny of many has been manipulated by handshake. Oh yes. The fastest way for demonic possession is handshake. I shake you, I give you what I carry. I shake you, I give you what I carry. I touch you, I give you what I carry. The hand of a man is a symbol of his power. For no man prevail without the authority of his hand. He seal it up. The hand of every man, he seal it up. It doesn't necessarily mean that your hand will be sealed up like this continuously. It means that God buried in your hand. God has hid in your hand. God has stored in your hand. Your destiny. Locating what your hand can do is the beginning of your success on planet Earth. And when the enemy has access into what your hand can do, he manipulates it. But I'm glad to announce to you today, he who package your purpose in your hand by his supremacy and by his anointing every attempt that has been made over the interpretation of the purpose and his plan in your hand that is affecting you negatively i correct it by the blood libranando basicataya i correct it by the blood Every manipulated destiny in this house this morning, I correct it by the blood. Every stolen virtue, buried virtue in this house this morning, I correct it by the blood. Let me give you, write this down, four facts about the hand. Number one, your hands perform your service and your work. Your hand perform your service and your work. When God wants to bless you, the first place God blesses is your hand. Every time you say, Lord, prosper me, the first place God look at is your hand. A man whose hand is idle, his life will be idle. What are you doing? Amen. Under any situation, probably maybe you were born with that hand, is an exceptional case. Heaven will result to an exceptional answer. But when you come into this world with your hands, and those hands are open to the glory of God, it is what that hand do that will determine your prosperity. Can I prophesy? I speak over the works of your hand from today. Receive prosperity. I command whatever your hands are doing, let it prosper. The louder your amen, the quicker you receive it. <laughs> he said, whatsoever you do it, it shall prosper. There are many here, the enemy has given assignment. If only you can touch a hand, just touch the hand. And we'll finish her. Touch the hand and we'll finish her. Number two symbol and fact about the hand. 
Your hand is a symbol of your productivity. Amen, somebody? Your increase, your multiplication in life is by the reason of your hand. I am praying. Many of you, your productivity is in no, is, is in no way measurable to your effort in life. The reason is because your hands are cursed. You are hard working. You wake up in the morning, you only go to bed by 12. But when it's time for you to show what you have worked for, it is in no measurable compare to what your hands have been doing. From today, I decree, your harvest will measure what your hand is doing. And even much more. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Number three, fact about the hand, there are 37 muscles attached to the hand and number 37 stands for warrior. This is very important. I'm going to show you something from the Bible. There are 37 muscles attached to the hand and number 37 stands for warrior in the spirit realm. In other words, your hands are given to you by God to fight. How many of you know, if you don't have hands, you can't be a good fighter? How do you want to fight? Whether as a boxer, or as a wrestler, or even as a runner. Because it is the swing of the hand that determines the movement of the legs. How do you want to fight when you do not have hands? How do you want to enter the wrestling room? without hands your hands are given to you by god to fight in the spirit realm it is with the hand you dismantle it is with the hand you build it is with the hand you pull down i decree today fire to fight and to win receive it in your hand now receive it in your hands now psalm 144 and verse 1, quickly please on the screen, we need to pray. If you have it, say, I am there. No way. I say, if you have it, say, I am there. If something goes wrong with your hand in the spirit realm, your manifestation in the physical will be terrible. Please hear me well. Blessed be the Lord, my strength. Who is your strength? The Lord. I need to hear you shouting. Who is your strength? Blessed be the Lord my strength, which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight. From today, any attempt by your enemies to attack you in the spirit, with your hand you will crush them. 